Hello friends, in this problem we have to find angle between hour and minute uh, needles in this clock. So you can see some time here, so you have to measure this angle. So you can find two angles between them, one is this bigger angle, one is a smaller angle. This is alpha, this is 360 minus alpha. So whichever is smaller you have to return that. So you can clearly see that if the hands are like that, facing opposite to each other, then the angle will be 180 degree. So in this case both angles are equal, smaller and larger, but if one of the angle is let's say this, let's say 270, then in that case we will return 90. So this is the only uh, thing that we have to consider here. So let's see how we will solve it. So uh, now a few uh, small calculations. So in this uh, clock we have 12 hours and in total we have 360 degrees when we take one circle it's 360 degrees which is divided into 12 hours. So what is angle between one hour? So if clock is one needle is here, let's say this is zero degree and uh, there are 12 divisions which make up to 360. So if we reach the first division, what will be this angle? 360 divided by 12, that is 30. So this angle is 30 degree. Similarly, if we reach from one to two, we traverse another 30 degree, that is total 60. And when we reach 3, we traverse another 30 degree, that is total 90. And you can see that this is 90 degree. 90 degree means perpendicular. So this will be used for hour calculation. So this is 30 degree per hour. And this need not be integer. If this is one, if this is 0.5 hour, then it will be 15 degree. So you can adjust this. So per hour, 30 degree. Next, what is the angle subtended by per minute? Uh, so again uh, we have 60 minutes in this entire circle. So here it's 0 minute, 1 minute, 2 minute, here it's 30 minute and finally uh, till here just before this it's 59 minutes and when it reaches this 60 minute we increment the hour and make minute to 0. So 360 degrees divided into 60 minutes. So it's 6 degree. So 6 degrees per minute. In fact, we will not be considering this also. Uh, we will just consider uh, what is the hour and what is the minute. And hour we will calculate it as hour equal to given hour. And uh, I forgot to tell the input. You will be given one hour variable and one minute variable. And both will be integer. So in this case, you, the input will be hour equal to 12, minute equal to 30. This is the time and here hour is uh, 3 and minute is again 30. So these two integers will be given. So when uh, the minute is not 0, if minute is 0, the hour handle will be exactly on one of these numbers. But if minute is not 0, then it will increase to the next value of hour appropriately. What is the minute? In this case, it's 30. So it's exactly half hour. So it's exactly between 12 and 1. So what is total hour? Hour is hour plus minute divided by 60. So this is the total hour. And if we multiply it by 30, we get uh, where is this hour hand. So we will start from this is 0, this is 90, this is 180 degree, 270 degree, and this is 360 or 0. So we will find what is the position of our handle. Next we will find the angle subtended by minute handle. So this will be simply minutes multiplied by 6. Since each minute, angle between each minute, this is small two divisions. If you see this, this angle will be 6 degree. So minute multiplied by 6. So this is the position of minute handle. So you take the difference. So angle equal to H minus M. You take the absolute value of this. So what is the maximum it can be? It can be here. Just before this 360, let's say 359 degree. And this can be the minimum, let's say 1 degree. So what will be the difference here? Difference will be 358 degrees. And we need know that uh, this is more than 180. So if our calculation is like this, 
there are two angles always one bigger one smaller one will be more than 180 one will be less than 180 if they are exactly equal both will be 180 so we have to return this one the smaller one so if it's uh, more than 180 what we do this angle is alpha this angle is 360 minus alpha so instead of this angle we will return 360 minus this so subtract it from 360 so we will get 2 degrees and that is indeed the smallest angle the minute was here at 1 minute or not even at 1 minute it was here at 1 degree and these minutes are in uh, integer so it cannot be in this 1 degree it, it will be at least 6 degree so minute was here at 6 degree and hour was somewhere here so you can see indeed this is a small angle so this 358 cannot be possible but you can get the idea if it's more than 180 subtract it from 360 and that's it there is no more trick here so let's write the code for this quickly so these are in integers but from here you can see that uh, the output can be in decimal uh, in in some decimal values so we will keep it float so total hour is this given hour which is integer and we will keep modulo 12 since hour is from 1 to 12 but if it's 12 that is if it's uh, here it's zero in fact we are keeping this as a reference so we will keep 12 as zero others will remain same So our modulo 12 plus minutes divided by 60. So this will be the fractional hour, and this is integer. So if you divide by 60, this entire thing will be integer, and it will always be zero, since minute is up to maximum 59. So this will always be zero. So better to convert it to float, and then this multiply by 30. So 30 comes from 360 divided by 12. That is 360 is divided into 12 hours, and then the position of minute handle is minutes multiplied by 6 and this comes from 360 divided by 60 360 is divided into 60 minutes and float angle equal to we will take the absolute values h minus m and if angle is more than 180 then angle equal to 360 minus angle and finally we will return angle and let's see and the answer matches so let's submit and the solution is accepted and it's 0 millisecond that is uh, it's good so it's constant time not much trick here we are just doing a few calculations and the same thing would be in java here it would be math dot apps and it works so let's submit and the solution is accepted in java as well finally we will do it in python 3 and the solution is accepted in python as well